Slow down. This is kind of like a pseudo interview. Uh, do you know what a pseudo interview is? I have is? no idea what a pseudo interview is. A, a pseudo interview is where um, I'm really not uh, qualified to interview <laughs> you, but for somehow you ended up getting stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this is Matt Tallman. Matt is uh, a senior at Ben Ileson High School and uh, this week's Student Athlete of the Month, which is sponsored by, and I have to look because this is a really long name. Um, this is how long an Interior Alaska Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Scholar Athlete of the Month. <laughs> wow. Did you know you'd ever have a title that big? I never thought I'd have a title that big. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt, uh, Matt plays uh, football. Yes, sir. And uh, what else do you do? I play basketball, you too. You play basketball, too. Yes, sir. But what'd you, what you, we're going we're gonna to talk about football for a minute. Yeah. We, we've got I'm to. I'm fine with that. You're fine with that. Okay, yeah. okay. The reason is is because... You won the state championship. Yes, sir. We yeah. Did. Yeah. Now, right before we came on the air, I asked you, how did that feel to win a state championship? And it's just something that no one understands except for the people out there on the field. It's, it's the most incredible feeling ever. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really special. Cool. And I imagine it would be. I mean, I, I coach kids in football, mm -hmm. and uh, watching them achieve uh, whether they win a championship or not is fun. But, boy, when you do win a championship, I coached, uh, you know, a Little League championship one yeah. time, and it, it meant a lot to those yeah. kids, yeah. And uh, it was a great time, too. So I, I bet you, uh, you've you got some favorite moments out of that game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what, 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 which one's going to stand out in your mind, you know, 20, 30 years down the road about that game? Well, there was a play, and it was a fourth down, and our running back, Tony Griffith, uh, he came out on a sweep, and I was a pulling guard. And I hit this guy, and he fell down, and Tony just hurdled him, and he ran for like a 90-yard touchdown. And it was just this incredible play that that will always be there. And, and you, uh, I like that, will always be there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you play, guard? Yeah, I play guard on offense, and then on defense, I play any defensive line position. Yeah? Yep. Which which do you like better, the guard, or, I mean, the offense or defense? Oh, I like defense more. Really? Yeah. See, I... I'm an offensive line coach. I love to watch a pulling guard. Yeah. I, I mean, to me, that's the most exciting thing in football. Uh, in fact, we were, that's what that's what my son does sometimes, yeah. is he, he's, and I love to watch him. Because, boy, you get out there, and you're running at full steam, and you're looking for somebody, <laughs> yeah. and, and the guy's right behind you. That's just great. I yeah. just love it. I don't know why. It just gives me a thrill. Oh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> So, um, did you play football all four years there? Um, no, I took sophomore year off, unfortunately. I, I made a bad decision and didn't play football my sophomore year, but I did my junior and senior year, too, and it, it was fun. Yeah? yeah. But now, uh, basketball, when is that? Is that uh, practice is going on now for that? Yeah, we actually started? played three games three already. Three games already? Yeah. yeah. And we're just practicing over Christmas break. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. What, do you play, what do you play on the basketball team? Oh, I play guard or wing. Any. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? Yeah. So, you like that? Yeah, uh, basketball used to be my favorite sport, and then high school came around, and I started playing football, and yeah. that kind of took it over. Now, are you from uh, from this area? Uh, I, I moved here in second grade, and I've lived here ever since. Yeah, you might as well. Yeah, you're from this area. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, now, uh, a 4.0, how do you do that? And also, uh, you know, you do other things, too. You, you, you also uh, tutor, and uh, you play sports, and... Now, how do you do that and maintain a 4.0? And I've asked several people who, who I just want to know how you do it. Um, honestly, I just I just make sure that school's the first thing, and I, I take care of my schoolwork before I do anything else, and because that's what's going to get me far in life and to college and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Well, cool. I mean, that's still hard to do, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's that's a lot of juggling, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, luckily, teachers help us with like during sports and stuff. They they give us breaks when we need it, and you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, and and what? See, that's one of the things that I think, in high school, especially, I think when you're playing sports or you're involved in drama or a club or something like that, that really helps you for when you become an adult trying to juggle yeah. all those things that you're trying to do and be successful at them because that's what you want to do. You want to be successful, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. At everything. Yeah. So uh, it says uh, future goals. Your future goals. You have a few future goals. Major in engineering. Yeah. What does that mean? I want to major in either mining engineering or civil engineering in college. And, and I want to go to college in Colorado or something. I'm not oh, quite really? sure. Yeah. Colorado? Yeah, that's where I'm from. That's where I was born. Yeah? Yeah. So that, that's why? Yeah, and I have family there and stuff. So. Yeah. 
any particular uh, college? Are you looking to play ball in college? Um, that's it's still like up in the air. I'm not sure if I want to go to a small school and play football or go to a bigger school and, for school. But right now, I'm looking at like Colorado at Boulder, the mm -hmm. University at Boulder, and uh, that's that's the main college I want to go to right now. Yeah. And uh, what are your uh, chances? You think? Um, I I think I can get accepted into Boulder. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's uh, if you want it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. I know what you mean. Uh, too bad you're not going to play on, huh? Yeah, it's a hard decision. I'm still not yeah. sure. I, I may just take a year off and then have to go to a smaller school and go play football uh -huh. because uh -huh. I can't imagine life without football. <laughs> you can't. Well, you know, there's always coaching and there's always oh, yeah. uh, refereeing and there's always, you oh, know, yeah. things like that that can, you know, put you a, a part of it, and especially if you've already been tutoring people. Um, so of your... Uh, of your uh, senior moments this year, I mean, you've only been, you know, and I'm not talking about being too old. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you're getting excited coming up on that final part of your senior oh, year. Yeah. Have you arranged things? I'm pretty blunt. Have you arranged things where they're kind of smooth for you on that last little bit? Oh, yeah. I have I, I have a couple classes where I'm just a tutor, and I just tutor kids instead of having to worry about my own work and stuff. But I do take AP calculus and stuff like that, which is... It's kind of challenging. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I know you stay challenging, but, you know, setting it up so that you can really enjoy that oh, senior yeah. oh, year, yeah. that's important. Oh. I really think that's important, too. Well, we're going to take a couple of phone calls here at uh, 452-3697. This is the part where you uh, may or may not get bored. <laughs> now, I understand you have seen the show. Yes, I have. But he wanted a tutorial on the secret word earlier. Yeah. He wanted a, 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 an explanation of how it worked. Was that a good enough explanation, yeah, or I think is I it still, it still a little confusing? I kind of want to know it, but... I <laughs> kind of want to know it. Well, um, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know what? You know what? When I give guests the secret word, I run the risk of them telling their friends. Yeah. So, and, and that's happened before, believe it or not. You're live on the Hop Shop. Hello? I don't know that... Mike, are you there? Well, it... Show it. Mike hung up. Mike, you, you, you overwhelmed Mike with your, <laughs> with your talk. Mike had a 2003 Chevy truck it's just a tran tran transmission and transfer case. That's, there it is, 460-1591. Well, we'll just move on, won't we? You're live on the hot shop. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, my number is 322-3668. Okay, go ahead. I have 12 boxes of Brazilian uh, wood flooring. Okay. And I'm like uh, 240 for the lot of it. And I have a five or six person Arctic spa that I'd like to get $1,000 for. Okay. And I also have a 16 foot flat bottom boat with a trailer that I would like 1500 for. Uh, how big of a flat bottom boat? 16 foot. Okay. Because I thought you said 68 foot at first. I was like, wow. Uh, <laughs> and how much for the boat? 1500 Okay. Okay? That's it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> 68 foot. Hey, that's all right. One time I said somebody was trying to sell a 12-inch a boat on <laughs> <laughs> I got I got plenty of uh, messages about that on Facebook. 322-3668, 12 boxes of Brazilian wood flooring. Uh, $200 for the lot. Uh, also, he has an Arctic Spa, a six-person Arctic Spa for $1,000, and a 16-foot flat bottom boat for $1,500, and his number is 322-3668. All right. You're live on the Hawk Shop. Hello. My number is 799-4704. Okay. And I am looking for a transmission for a 91 Mercury Tracer station wagon, 1.9 liter. Okay. At a, re at a reasonable price. 1.9 liter, is that what you said? Yes, sir. Okay. Is that it? That was it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So looking for a transmission out of a 1.9 liter Mercury. Uh, I guess hers is a 91 Mercury Tracer station wagon. Uh, 799-4704. You're live on the Hawk Shop. Uh, yes, this is Adam. Hey, Adam, can I have a phone number? 
Okay, go ahead. And I have a Maytag Neptune dryer like new, gas or propane for $100, and also a queen size water bed with a pump and everything in a bag, brand new, for $100. Okay, is that it? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. He has a queen size water bed, new for $100. Water bed, wow, that's reminds me of the you don't even know what a water bed is, do you? I remember when we were little, we had water beds. Really? Yeah, when we were real little. Knock, knock somebody off. <laughs> uh, $100. Also, he has a Maytag Neptune dryer for $100. 374-0267. Wow, you maybe not feel as old. That don't happen very often. <laughs> <laughs> You're live on the Hawk Shop. Hello. Hey, can I have your phone number? Yes, it's 699-9402. Okay. I have a regulation size that's a 9x5 uh, pool table with leather pockets, um, less than 5-year-old felt, has a custom cover for it, and 1-inch slate, and it comes with the pool sticks and rack and all that stuff. Um, we're looking for 1200 a best offer on that. Okay. And then we have, uh, for a 2000 S10 4x4, I have a transfer case. I'm looking for $200. 2000 S10 transfer case, and you want how much? 200 200 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 699-9402. He has a regulation size pool table with leather pockets, $1,200. He also has a transfer case, uh, transfer case out of a 2000 S10. He wants $200 for that. 699-9402. Now, majoring in engineering, uh, and you said that you were looking at uh, mining engineering and... Or civil engineering. Or yeah. civil engineering. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure yet. Well, what, what, what would be your dream job? Um, my dream job is to become a basketball or football coach. But, yeah. But I'm going to start by engineering and then work my way into coaching. Okay. So, now, I have a brother. Yeah. Who, um, I'm just going to tell you a little story. Okay, I tell all my football players this story. I don't know why, even though you're not one of my football players. <laughs> I have a brother, had a C average in high school. Yeah. Wanted to wanted to wanted to go to Georgia Tech and become an engineer. <laughs> yeah. Wanted to play on the football team. He went down there with a C average and begged and begged and begged and begged and begged, and they got it and they let him into school. Yeah. And he ended up being uh, on the national championship team in 1990, wow. which was really cool. Okay, but the coolest thing is is that when he got out, all these opportunities opened up and he became a high school coach and he teaches. Yeah. And, 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 and engineering is what he taught to begin with. Now he's teaching economics, but uh, in school. Yeah. So what, the, what he really got out of it was he got all that training in college that allowed him, and you know, you can do it at high school, whatever yeah. level. I didn't, I didn't play in, in college, but he took all that and he put it into those kids and now that he'll tell you, I'm a football coach, but where he makes his money yeah. <laughs> is doing something else. So, uh, great job, great job. Engineering, that's just a, that's a very um, interesting field, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, well, Matt, anything else you want to say? You know, this, have you ever, have you, have you ever had the opportunity to just have someone say on TV, what would you like to say? I, I don't think I have. Well, you've got that opportunity. Um, I don't really know what to say on TV. <laughs> on <the spot. laughs> you can answer questions well. Yeah. Yeah? I guess so. Yeah? You got a girlfriend you want to say hey to or anything? Yeah, what's up, T.A.? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dad and mom and yeah, shout out to my mom, too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. I've got to have a little bit of the personality before we go away. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, do what? He's walking home because <laughs> Dad's standing over here again and said nothing. <laughs> At least thank you for giving you the ride, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Thanks for the ride, <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> we'll be back with more Hawk Shop in just a few minutes. Oh, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. I really appreciate it.